welcome back to another sketch tutorial. On this episode, we're going to be looking at creating a few more layer styles and then creating a symbol which utilizes those layer styles in a way that allows us to swap and change a little bit easier. So for example, here you can see we've got our container component, which makes use of an outline, a fill, which we set up as the colors previously, and also a shadow as the back layer. So this is what we're going to be looking at. Now let's get stuck in. So all I've done so far is just create a new artboard. And we've got a few new rectangles, one for each of our color hues. Uh, I'm just going to use these uh, to create outlines for each of these colors. Again, we want to be thinking about how we can do this in a way that can allow us to make the fewest number of changes later on down the line in order to maintain consistency throughout the project. So I'm thinking specifically here about the color. So for example, if I want a primary border color here, it's no use just uh, selecting the color, for example, with the dropper, because otherwise this is now disconnected again. So if we were to update our primary variable, let's say again, changing it to a horrible yellowy green, no update over here. So we need to make sure that when we do this, we're not just picking a color, we're actually picking the variable itself. So now they're connected. Uh, and I'll just demonstrate that once again. So I'll change it to a, a pink update. And it's now sort of ready pink. OK, let's just undo that for a second. What I would like to do is create a couple of, well, a few borders actually for each color. We're going to create two in the, the 900 base color. I'm also going to create two in 400. So it's kind of me like a light variant of our outline. And for each of those two sets, I'd like to create a two pixel border and a one pixel border, just so we have a bit of a uh, bit of choice later on. Maybe you want to use one as a, a sort of selected state uh, and the other as sort of the default outline. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Uh, let me set this one to two pixels. And that's really all the styling we want for this particular outline. So let's now go ahead and create a layer style from this outline. So I'm going to go ahead and go create. Let's create a new outlines directory. I'm going to group them by width, actually. So let's go two pixel for this one. Uh, this is primary color. And it is 900. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And away we go. OK, now I'm going to duplicate this one and create the one pixel version. So I'm just going to knock the, knock the width down to one. And we can see it's already uh, crying that we've, we've changed something. It's not quite the same as, as the actual layer style. So let's go ahead and create a new one. Let's change the two pixel here to one pixel. And let's kind of leave the rest the same. Just get rid of the, the two on the end there. And away we go. So straight away, we can see our outlines drop down here as well. We've got a one pixel and a two pixel with primary in both, which is already pretty cool. So now let's go ahead and create the 400 transparency. So I'm just going to duplicate those. We've already got the widths here, so that's great already. Uh, but right now, I'm just going to manually edit the opacity to the same as our 400 here. So our 400 is 13. So I'm going to do the same on here. So 13%, lovely. And again, let's create a new layer style. So everything else is the same except for the end there. So I'm going to change that to 400. And I'm going to do the same on the one pixel width one as well. So now if we look at our outlines, we can see we've got those in there. But the one thing I don't like, as we saw before, um, the transparent or the more transparent option is now top and dominates the preview, which makes it a little bit harder to determine the color 
when we're filtering, when we have a, when we will have a, which makes it a little bit harder to determine the color when we will have a list of all of the colors here later on. So that'd be a bit annoying. So I'm actually going to go ahead, skip to our layer styles and just edit those. So I'm going to head over to outlines. Uh, and what I'd like to do inside of here, I just want to set 900 and give that a one at the start so that that's always going to come first. Now, because I'm just using two different opacities here, I'm just going to name the 400 one too, because that is the second one at the moment. If I had more, then I'd, I'd think about how to order that. But for now, that will do. So let's do the same on two pixels as well. Okay, cool. Now if we head back over to here, in our preview, we've got a nice strong purple straight away. So it's much easier to, to differentiate between them. Uh, I'm now going to do the same that we just saw there for the primary. I'm going to do the same for error, warning, success, dark, and light. Okay, great. So we've got those set up. Uh, I'm just going to adjust this just to tidy things up. Now, if we just select one of these and have a look at our drop down again, uh, already we see that dark is the, the prominent color in the preview. Uh, and I'd quite like primary to be at the top again. So I'm just going to go into layer styles and edit the order of those again. So I'm just going to go here. OK, and if we have a look again, now we've got them in, in the same order as our colors, which I think is nice for consistency that we know where to roughly where to look for each one. So that's nice, we've got our outline set up. Next, we're gonna take a look at shadows.